What is up, everybody, and welcome back to the Film Bros Podcast, episode number three. We've made it this far. I am here with my roommate. What the fuck are you doing? He's trying to get in spirit. Oh, hold on. Wait, I'm sorry. I forgot my stethoscope. Like the guy in the movie. Before anyone unsubscribes, welcome to the Film Bros Podcast. I'm here with my co-host slash roommate, DJ Rucker. He's trying to get in the mood for Halloween Kills, the first movie we're going to be talking about today, along with Ridley Scott's The Last Duel. If you've only seen The Last Duel, I'll leave a timestamp down below so you can skip just to that. If you've just seen Halloween Kills, we're going to get into it right now. And uh, I think we have some things to say, because me and DJ always disagree on movies for the most part. But the past two podcasts, we were four for four on agreeing on movies. And you would think, going into this, that DJ would be the one that liked Halloween Kills, and I'd be the one that hated Halloween Kills, because I'm not really a slasher movie guy. Most of them are very lame. Prior to this month, the only Halloween movies I had seen were the OG and the 2018 one. But I was like, you know what, let me catch up a bit before this podcast. I watched 2 and 3, and rewatched 2018 and the original before going into Halloween Kills. And then, me and DJ tried to not give each other all of our opinions right off the bat. But the general consensus was DJ did not like it, and I did. And he seemed pretty upset about it. So I was in Horse Cave, Kentucky over the weekend for the Redneck Rave. Episode dropping on, excuse me, what? Be sure to check out that show. And I had a lot of free time, because there's not much to do in Horse Cave, Kentucky. And being on flights. So I watched Halloween 4. Halloween 5, Halloween The Curse of Michael Myers, Halloween H2O, and Halloween Resurrection over the course of like 36 hours in preparation for this podcast. So I just want to let you know I did my homework Good. a little bit. Good shit, good shit. So then the only ones I have not seen are the two Rob Zombie the Rob movies. Zombies. I'm actually interested in watching those because I actually like House of a Thousand Corpses. Okay. That's the only Rob Zombie movie I've seen. So I'm looking forward to seeing what I think of those. I'll watch them later in the month. So that being said... I had a really fun time with Halloween Kills. It seems to be like one of the most polarizing movies of the year and one of the most polarizing in the Halloween franchise, which is weird to me because we'll talk in a second on what you expect from a Halloween movie. But to me, I expect a fun time. I want cool kills. I want a cool Michael Myers. I just want a couple jokes that make me laugh, kind of like that cheesy slasher vibe that works. And I got all of that from Halloween Kills. There are definitely problems. I don't know if it's a great movie. It's probably not that great of a movie. But in terms of a slasher movie, I think it does the job really well. And I would probably watch it again to have a fun time. DJ, on the other hand, was watching the Halloween franchise when he was four years old. He knows, he knows the lore. Would you consider yourself a fan of the franchise or just a watcher of the franchise? I, I, I would, I'm a fan. Okay. I, I, I like the mystique. That's that's why I and I maybe speak, speak for other fans. Why a lot of people like Michael Myers. It's that mystery. Jason, we know he's eternal. He, he dies. He gets back up. Freddy, he's like in your dreams, whatever. This dude, it's it's like a there's a fine line between realism and like just mystical. Where he's just a dude who he's like a home invasion villain, um, slasher. But it it seems like he's quite mystical in the fact that like you just shoot him and he just keeps fucking coming at you. So I I love Michael Myers. I've seen all of them. I'm excited to hear your take on the Rob Zombie ones and proud of you for doing the homework and watching all of them. Busta Rhymes. Busta Rhymes, baby. <laughs> Kung Fu Busta Rhymes. Can't forget it. I will say real quick, Halloween Resurrection is a masterpiece and it's one of the best bad movies ever made. I would put it maybe in my top. Four favorite Halloween movies. <laughs> Even though it's clearly the okay. worst one. Okay. It is such a unbelievably bad yet great time. You notice I'm drinking water, right? Yeah. Because I'm about to rip this movie an asshole. But why? And I've been wanting to talk about this for so long. It's been like three or four days. So, so t- t- three or four days too long. Now, <laughs> I'm already getting heated. All right. Let's, let's talk about... Let's get to you first. Okay. Okay. What did you What did you like? I liked Michael Myers overall in okay. this movie. I the thing that was lacking in my four through I guess nine marathon was Michael Myers was kind of a goof. 
he would kind of just show up, and it was kind of funny. His mask was weird. It just he didn't really feel that menacing to me. It was very of its time and never really tension filled at any point to me. Mm. Michael Myers in this and the 2018 movie, but specifically in this, is a fucking beast. Mm. He is taking motherfuckers out mm-hmm. in the craziest kinds of ways. It opens up. I'm like, how the fuck is he going to get out of? the house in the 2018 situation because they set the house on fire. He's trapped in there. I walked out of that movie. I was like, how is this man getting out? Mm. And I like how they bring firemen in. Makes sense. There's a fire. Firemen are going to come and put out the fire. I like that. Mm. He takes out a whole fucking crew of firemen. They got chainsaws. They got axes. They don't put up a fight. Mm. And I like that. There's some cool shots of him like impaling their eyes and they're freaking out. They can't take him down. And I was like, oh, this guy is a maniac. Okay. There's a whole mob of people that can't take this motherfucker out. Is he part of a cult? Like in number six? Mm. I don't know. Mm. Okay. He might just be a superhuman. Mm-hmm. Might just be Superman. Mm-hmm. Whatever it is, I want to know what it's about. I like all his kills. Okay. I like his presence. I, I just, I like how he's not really motivated like he is in the originals where it's like the family bloodline is the reason he's going around. I just like how they just made him an insane dude that just mercifully merciless mercifully yeah. unmercifully mm-hmm. yeah. that's sure. the word I'm looking for. <laughs> kills all these people. Uh-huh. So and that was to me what I want out of a Halloween movie. And, and, and this movie gave the best version of that, I okay. thought. And and before before I proceed with my thoughts, well, um, this is the last question I'll ask. Uh, what did you like? Th- did you like the first one, the 2018 one, better than this one? Yes, I think it's a a better movie and b about the same enjoyment level. Like I, I, the first 2018 one is definitely more well made. Mm-hmm. There's a lot more. I don't want to say better kills, but there's like a pretty much a long one a long take of okay. him going around the different houses yeah. the bathroom scene is uh-huh. awesome he's like dropping the teeth overall like I, I would say they're they're pretty close 2018 one's better okay. but for making a top three Halloween movie list without me seeing the Rob Zombie ones I would put the OG at the top 2018 really close under that and then Halloween Kills like a little bit less than that but still makes the third spot okay I've been debating. I'm at a rant. Go for it. I'm at a going a full ass rant. Tension is building. I was debating whether if during my rant you can chime in or I just rant. So I'll leave it up to you. If you have a note or a comment you want to make, feel free to interrupt me. We'll discuss. Of course. But I'm about to rip an asshole right now. All right. Go rip the let's, ass. Let's start with the opening sequence. First off, um, the opening sequence is this cop. All right. Um, the 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 tech, uh, not the detective, the sheriff. Earl. 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 For me, Earl and the Dying Girl. Yeah. You see that movie? Uh, uh, for what? Me, Earl and the Dying Girl. You Mm-mm. see that movie? Mm-mm. Damn. Yeah. Uh, a shame. Um, uh, but, right? I like you, Earl. <laughs> Earl's a good guy. Earl. I may, uh, is it a drama? Wait. No, he's not Earl. Earl's the friend. He's me. <laughs> Wait, what? And me, Earl and the Dying Girl. He's me. Earl's the friend. I forgot. Dude's name is me? No. I forget his name in the movie, but he's he is me in the title. All right, I'll, there's, there's a guy named me who's the cop. There's this boy Earl, and then there's a dying girl. He's not the dying girl. He's not Earl. My bad, not Earl. He's me. Great film. You or me, as in me, like motherfucker. The, the name of the movie is me, Earl, <laughs> the dying girl, and the cop in this movie is me, but not me. Right, that's it. it fucking reminds me of Rush Hour 3. It's like, no, not me. You. You? Me? <laughs> no, nah, I've never seen Rush Hour 3. Oh, my God. All so, right. you have to watch me on the Dying Girl. I have to skip Rush Hour 1 and 2 and just watch 3. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's pretty funny. But anyways, Sheriff, right? Earl, not Earl, right? Me. Me. Goes in. Looking. They're looking. They're looking. They're looking. Dude stands at the window. Police officer stand at the window. Hmm, ha, ah, hmm, cool. Michael Myers comes out, right? Hey, shoot him. I can't get a shot. I can't get a shot. Shoot him in the neck. Damn, he killed his partner. Fuck. Michael Myers sh- nonchalantly, I guess, walks away and makes his way to the front of the house. The doctor himself says, We need to off this nigga. <laughs> All right? 
The doctor himself. You didn't like the Loomis practical effect? No. no. Um, no, I like it. Of makeup no, no, no. I, it was, it yeah, yeah. Like... It was cool. It was cool. But the, no, let's not. Let's. That's beside the point. The doctor right. himself says this man's got to go. Puts the gun to his head. The fucking dude who had unshot his partner and killed him. Damn, I shot my partner. This fuck. He went around killing people. We have a murderer. You know what? Let me go save him. No, don't shoot him. Don't shoot him. Off rip, I was like, what the hell? I don't know that clearly he's gonna play a role maybe later in the movie and explain. Never, no explanation. Well, we got ends. The whole movie, he's explaining how he has to die. But when you had him and he, you done killed your partner over him, you saved him. Even the doc, he sits down with him with this tea and shit and evaluates him. He says he gotta go. But no, we save him, all right? So then you skip ahead. I agree. Myers, or yeah, yeah. I'll agree with the point. Is, uh, the, all, of, all of my negative comments are primarily stemming from the fact that these characters are written so stupidly and they do the dumbest decisions and I don't like when horror movies do that I agree the first Halloween movie in 2018 the, what made it stick out is the characters are smart she's checking the rooms the door locks behind it breaks that, that, that stereotype this one goes 120% back into it and that, I was like what the hell Michael Myers is stuck in the basement, right? It's a trap for him. Why the fuck is there a garage in the trap? That was in the first movie. That's where they keep the guns. Yeah. Why is it? Why doesn't it close? If it's a trap, why doesn't that close? Why does it? Why isn't it locked? Because we need Halloween kill. Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> then he comes out. I, I liked it. I, I like. Well, it okay. didn't necessarily have to close. She just needed to trap the top. She needed to she do needed something. To- yeah, because of all the places, you know, my man's just like, hmm, oh, I could hide in here until firefighters come, whatever, whatever his thought process is. Firefighters come. I like that. He manages to get up. However, comes out. Badass mode. Oh, shit. He's about to take on the firefighters. And then you got Michael Myers doing some kung fu shit, moving around and shit. What makes Michael Myers Michael Myers from the originals and the new ones is something totally different. And I don't count those. Neither does the studio. Those are not canon. What makes him dope is the fact that you will shoot him or hit him or knife him and he doesn't flinch. You And he just keeps coming at you. It's like some sinister, scary shit. You can't do that and then have Michael Myers doing this shit. So when he's doing that. This dude has a saw and he's coming at him like this. It's just like, yo, yo, what are you doing? And I don't like what they're doing with him in that scene, right? It's 2021, though. We can't. That's what makes him stupid. He didn't do that in the 2018 one, though. Uh, But he's not like super kung fu. No, no, he's not. He's not. This is just a. Oh, let me rephrase. This is a minor gripe. He's not like a martial artist in this. No, 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 no. no, Not. He's not. He's also not like a stiff stand-in. He's no. He's no Busta Rhymes. No, he's he, no Buster Rhymes. Buster Rhymes in Halloween Ends will still take him out. Yeah, <laughs> Buster Rhymes. Buster Rhymes better be Halloween Ends. He better be. This better. This is how it should play out. He should be the uncle of the kid from the 2018 Halloween movie. That's hilarious. Stop. And they should team up with Jamie Lee Curtis. Stop. And bring down Michael Myers. It ties everything in, and they introduce a multiverse. Get away, get away, get away, get away. Better know that I don't and I won't ever stop because I know I gotta win. What? Yes. (laughs) So, all right, progressing, right? So you have that opening sequence, you have that, they're driving away, which I thought was dope. They're driving away, firefighters are going towards. I thought that was a good opening sequence. But we have this other one that, what was the point of it? Which other one? The, 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 what the cop when he was younger. What was the point of that opening sequence? What meaning did that play into the movie? Nothing. Okay. I agree. Except that it looks... I like how it was cool, how it looked like it was from the 78 one. They gave that cool film. Yeah, cool. which is why I felt like they scripted it in. But what was... The, I, okay, no, I do get the point. It was to show how we got in prison. I guess. Yeah, sure. That's exactly my thing, I guess. You don't, need a, you don't really need an answer to that for me. Yeah. I'm saying, there's, there's definitely... Pro, I don't think this is a masterpiece. I don't even think it's great. Mm. It might be kind of bad. Mm. But for what a Halloween movie should be... Mm. I think it's the best version, really, besides the OG and the 2018 one. Okay. Like, I like how it seamlessly connects from the end of 2018. I thought the whole trilogy was just going to be one Halloween night. Apparently, the next one is a four-year time jump. Don't fuck with that. I liked how it was all kind of seamless. Like, yeah. And I like how in this one... Now, granted, I just watched Halloween 4. There's, like, 
a small part where like these rednecks are like, we're going to take down Michael Myers. Yeah. They, they don't do anything. They kill someone else. Mm-hmm. This one, they brought that to an extreme. <clears throat> I didn't really care about how they're like, look at all these old actors we got. And it's like, who the fuck cares yeah. about the nurse that was in the car? The OG? No one cares. Yeah. You didn't become boys with the kid that was babysat by Michael Myers. Let's, let's relax with that. And I thought those types of tie-ins, on paper, I'm like, yeah, that's a cool little nod. But it was just so, like, I hate when movies flash back to other scenes, with, either within the movie or old movies, to treat us like idiots. But this was the one time I was like, who the fuck are these people? Yeah. Because they don't matter. It's not like it's Han Solo <clears throat> and Princess Leia. They're people that don't matter. Mm. You know? So, to me, that was very, eh. And then I'm not really going to take the kid that was babysat too seriously. He's like, oh, we're going to take them all out. Yeah, about We're going to bring down Michael Myers. I'm like, you were babysat. He's, he's coming out on the stage, and he's like, yeah, this is the night. This is the night, and he needs to die. Like, he's just going on this whole celebrational type thing of something that happened 40 years ago, right? But he never says... Like, it's never like an anniversary. Like, he doesn't say, oh, this is the anniversary night. It's just, this is the night. So, you, you do you do this every fucking Halloween? He might. Okay. Every Halloween, he's just like, we're the survivors. We're, we're here. We're living. I just, like, introducing these old ones and then having them do absolutely nothing but just talk shit the whole movie. And well, talk. they start a riot. They, they start, start lights. And do what? They kill an innocent person. That's what they do. No, when, That's the point. When you make these characters like this, it just takes me out the movie. It does. It, I just I. You didn't think the mob mentality thing was realistic in any sort of way. No, it was definitely realistic, and okay. I liked it. But the execution was god awful, terrible. I didn't think so. We spent thirty minutes chasing the wrong Michael Myers. That, that was cool though. No, it's not cool because we know it's not Michael Myers. That's fine. They're making a point. You don't think people on Twitter are, are like this all the time? The audience, they, they know, and then they think that it's Michael Myers. We know it ain't Michael Myers. That adds tension and we to st- me. But it's just 20 minutes of them going up the stairs, and then him getting trapped and, in the hallway. And then you see the kid that got friend zone. his mom looks at him while he's dead. You didn't like that? I like that. <laughs> Finally, he, someone's then, grieving in these movies. And then he jumps out, They hit. He hits, and they come down like... Mm, yeah, you know he's not the one. It's too fat, but uh, <laughs> can't be him. Too fucking short. Too fucking bald. Too bald. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't the one I saw. This motherfucker ain't Michael. <laughs> Isn't that Jimmy? <laughs> Wait. Wait, wasn't oh, no. that Jimmy? That's Jimmy. That's and then it flashes back to the 78 one, and it's a kid in the back of the classroom. <laughs> That's Jimmy from, from back in the class and Miss yeah. Jimson's. Come on. Is he from Halloween 3? <laughs> I thought we didn't exist in Halloween three. I thought we were a movie in Halloween three. They 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 had like this whole sequence of us like like music and mm-hmm, violins and shit. Like we're supposed to feel sorry for him. You didn't I feel don't bad know, for him. I don't know who the fuck this guy is. I feel bad for ugly crazy people though. When they're like middle aged and fifty five, ugly and crazy, they need help wiping their ass. I feel bad for that type of person. He was he was insane. He, he was, was bullied. He, <laughs> do, you, do you root for the bullies, DJ? I do not root for the bullies. That's I root for Myers. He's the biggest bully. What do you mean? I know, but he's a cool bully. You didn't think the kills were cool? The kills? Oh, my God. All right, so let's talk about that. man. It's just, it's what leads up to the kills. The kills are, they, I give it style points. I give it. But it's like they're killing themselves. That's how it's always been for the most no, part. Michael Myers kills them in the most horrific way possible. He you got does. this. Listen, you got the car scene. They're in the car. Girl you got the car seat. Yeah. Girl. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah. It was dope. Girls at the park, sees Myers, doesn't yell, Myers is behind the car. They have to look in the rear view to see him. He gets on the car. This bitch is shooting every window in the car, but not up at the roof. Dies. Mm. Doc, knife to the head. Prior to this, the, the wife jumped out of yes. Did you like how the doctors are in the 2018 one? Yes, I did. That hence, was cool. Hence this. Yeah. I did like I, that. That was nice. That was little like, tie-in. I was like, this feels like, seamless. Yeah. With 2018. I thought that was a cool little And then they were like, wait, that incident that's like right next door. And yeah. it was because it was the kills that he did yeah, from yeah. the first one. It was dope. I like right. that. Um, wife jumps out the car. Did the car move? No. It didn't move, right? No. I fucking thought so. So where the fuck was she with that elephant desert eagle 
five minutes ago. He's in there stabbing everyone. And then she come tff, missing every shot. And then when he she gets Baby. close, doom and then doom. Might be the coolest kill I've ever seen in the movie. Style points for sure. Fucking awesome. But I got out of my seat for a second. Did you? I was like, I was like, oh. <laughs> he fucking kicked the door. And she goes, Pew. craziest thing I've ever seen. It, it is it is awesome. A, it is a dope kill. Sick kill. It is a dope. And I'm not kill. one of these sick fucks that are usually like, oh, the kills weren't that cool. Man. Like, there's a lot of weird people out there that are like kills could have been cooler. I'm like, you need 17 FBI backgrounds. Well, well, right no, now. well, no, because with slashers, that's what slashers are. It's just like, it's, yeah, it's I know what they're. Killing. I know what they are. Yeah, but I'm saying there's a lot of people that wear like a Slipknot shirt to the <laughs> Halloween Kills movie, and they want more. And they're like, just there were enough. <laughs> He just shoved it up his ass and threw his eyeball. That's the only. I fuck this movie. Fuck this movie. Are you kidding me? And then they re- report it to Peacock, which if you don't know, DJ works for Peacock. And then how many people have been complaining about Halloween Kills to you? Every day. Every day. It's a just nonstop, nonstop. Yeah. Don't know if that's supposed to be said, but being said. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> so so DJ actually loves Halloween Kills because it's on Peacock. No, <laughs> I don't. I do not. I, I still have more, but I, w- I want to cap this to a you know a digestible no, no, limit. All right. Another thing. Um, let's talk about when they gather around Michael Myers. Yes, the mob. The mob. Scene. The mob attacks. They get him. They're talking the whole movie. This shit ends tonight. Ends tonight. This end, Chase, this ends tonight. But it's not Halloween ends yet. It's not Halloween ends yet, though. It's Halloween kills. So instead of coming up to him and like putting in the final blow, especially when he's reaching for that knife and the you know the mom gets the fucking knife and puts it in his back, instead of putting it in his head, instead of putting it in his head, instead of all of us running at him at once while he's down and out on his fucking body, let's give him some space. Let's put the knife in his back. Let's wait for him to recuperate. Let's shoot at him at point blank range with the gun so that way he can fucking hit it and me shoot myself. Let's all show up with two by fours and fucking sticks. And a bat. And oh my god, and a bat. Come on, bro. <laughs> they shot him a couple times. The, yeah. Get some rounds on him. But why is he. Let me calm down. Let me calm down. Okay, my fault. Do you have a problem with him being Superman esque? Not at all. Okay. I, I like I, I like how. That what makes him cool is his durability. He's like, what can put this dude down? He just—he seems supernatural. But when you have the people that have the see, if they would have shot at him and then did the necessary things that I believe they should have done to kill him, and then he'd still be durable and living, I would have been cool with. But because they didn't introduce that, and you just have these people who are stupid, talking all this hype about let's kill him. But then they're not taking the necessary steps to kill him when they have the opportunity. I'm a little upset. I'm a little tight. I'm a little mad. I'm mad. I'm I'm furious. Yeah. So much it docks points off this movie because I'm annoyed watching it. I shouldn't have to be irritated watching a horror movie. Why is this person doing this? Why didn't they do that? What are you doing? That's what the genre's been for so long. No, but that's... I mean, I understand. 2018 didn't do... I didn't... The 2018 was dope. Everyone did justified things. Everyone died in a justified way and had, um, uh, like... Logic. Logic, yeah. They had logic. What's going on in this movie? What happened? Cooler kills. Let's make it cooler. Let's make it funnier. Here's the reality. What's his name? Big John? Big John? Big John and Little John? John? That's my favorite comedic of moments. Course. They're great. You didn't like the husband and wife too, though the older couple. No, what what was funny? They're funny that they were flying the copter yeah. and like me knowing, okay, Michael Myers about to come in and fuck him up. Yeah. I guess. He took a light. <laughs> took the light. She's like, oh, oh, and they stick it in her neck, and I'm hearing people laugh, and I'm like, is it funny seeing this old yeah, lady? Yeah, it's Slipknot people, dude. Slipknot. Oh. The people. These mm. motherfuckers. Mm, that must be it. That must be it. I don't know. I, I don't know. That, you have the mob, and then you have the ending scene. That really pissed me off. This girl has a full fucking shotgun. First off, fuck the dude for bringing these kids in the car. First of all. Horrible parenting. Let's talk about that. the granddaughter for taking this fuck boy back. Fuck, 
Did we forget about? F- wait, that? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Fuck that. He, she was like, I hate you. And then she, she did. they make up. They throw, I remember they looking throw at the screen. Phone I was like, the pudding. And there was not even a fucking word of it. She's just like, oh my god. That was the most baffling thing of this movie. Like, what the not f- how is Michael Myers not dead? It's how the fuck did she take this guy back? How's this relationship this not Timothy dead? This Timothy Chalamet has got to be dropped. I don't... He can't be brought back. I looked at the screen. I was like, I looked at Adam. I was like, what? That death just was like that? brutal, though. Um, when they took him out, is he even dead? Discount Timothy Chalamet? Are you kidding me? <laughs> they fucking he ripped his head through those. Oh chains, yeah, the, she, the, the, the yeah, bars did that, but he was still like slobbering. So yeah, and then he, he but then he his yeah, head bro- broke his neck. Yeah, like you're a right. Fucking watermelon. You're right. You're right. Just twist it around. But fuck, fuck the dad. Fuck the dad, yeah. For bringing for sure. those kids like that. Some bum The ass. mom was like, you need to stay with your mother. Stay, oh, your grandmother. Stay with your grandmother because he's coming here. Why don't you stay? What are you doing? Why couldn't she just stay? The mom? Yeah. Because she's a better shot. She should have gone. Okay. All right. She was trained for this. Until she gets duped in the end. In the house scene, shotgun, right? And discount uh, Chalamet. Go up and Big John, Little John, dead. Knife in the stomach. She has a shotgun and I looked at Adam just to confirm and I want to confirm with you. Why was she reaching for the knife? Was it to check on him or so she could take the knife? Sometimes you need a secondary weapon. Okay. You know, when you're creating your class in Modern Warfare 2, you gotta run right. up just for every scenario. Yeah, okay, alright. Because it seemed like that she wanted to take the knife. Mm-hmm. So that leaves this dude to go and roam off doing dumb shit in dark rooms where you can't see shit, right? She has a shotgun, but she wants to go for a knife. Cool, alright. Goes, he grabs it, misses. Typical stupid shit, alright? You have to be yay close to shoot him. Falls down the steps. Discount Chalamet dies. Mm, 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 all like fucking that. Twist head. Father goes Son, down. Spirit yeah, death, it, exactly. Know. Dead. Rest in peace, my man. Discounted Chalamet. Falls down the steps. She's about to get knifed. Mother gets the pitchfork. Puts it in his back. He falls down on the steps. And then either she does nothing. I forget. Either she did nothing or I think she stepped on his head. Maybe. Well, she had like a broken leg, didn't she? No, the mother. The mother, the mother that walked... The no, mother... No, she takes the mask to Blue Balls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, No, no, but then the mother, right before she's about to get knifed, the daughter, the mother comes in with the pitchfork and stabs him in the back. Yeah, I know. Okay, okay. Yeah. And then he falls and then steps on his head or I think she just like, come on, daughter. Why didn't she take the pitchfork, man? You tell me. Because Doctor Strange talked to her why? before, and said there's only one scenario where this plays out. Why didn't she and they take? Win. Why didn't she take the pitchfork and put it in his head? Because it's a Halloween movie, and they go on the whole movie saying we gotta get this shit. Hey, Chase, Chase this ends tonight. No, it ends. Four it years ends later. It, it, yeah, job. of course. <laughs> of fucking course. Of course. I'm not disagreeing. It is. Dumb. I think I'm done. I think my yeah. rants are done. Like I said, I want to. thing this. is. It's just I, too many of those moments. I feel dude. like the reason I I rant about horror movies is they're always, always, always filled with characters this dumb. Mm. But the the payoff of like the the scares is always lacking too. Mm. So it's like you complain about everything. To me, if I go to a slasher movie, the characters can be dumb. Not all of them are dumb. Mm. Like I, I get Jamie Lee Curtis being stuck in the hospital for a whole movie is like what the fuck? You're just wasting Jamie Lee Curtis. But I kind of like how yeah. it's not like the old movies where. She would just get up and start running around again. It's like, yeah. y- you got gutted. Yeah. You know? So I, I'm get like... some screen time to everyone else. Yeah. And build it. Yeah. If ends took place right after kills and there was no time jump and then she was out and about, I'd call bullshit on ends for being like, well, then she was in the hospital for all the kills. There's a time jump, though. So it's like, okay, I understand with that. But most horror, horror movies in this same scenario, it's filled with dumb characters that make dumb choices and the kills aren't that fun. Like, it's, not, it's just not a fun movie. Mm. This one... You know, I feel like one of the Slipknot people. I'm having a fun time watching these people die. It's, a, it's an entertaining slasher that I kind of wish slashers going forward are always this fun. I, I'm not as educated in the genre. I've seen, like, the OG Friday the 13th, the OJ Nightmare on Elm Street. I haven't seen any of the sequels because I assume they would all be bad. Most of the Halloween sequels, not for me. Okay. They introduce, like, a cult. 
Like, they all try little things, which I appreciated, but at the end of the day, they were all still pretty bad. Yeah. I just think this one is significantly better in what it's trying to do than all those other ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, um, all of those little tidbits aside, it, the kills are cool, the kills are cool, um, other than the fact that, I mean, Michael Myers didn't really do much in that, like, opening sequence, but they, they stay true to who he is, and, like, he, I, I love the shot when the girl's running through the, through the trees, and he's just walking and just cutting back and forth, there's no music or anything, so he's just, like, we, we're actually seeing him go at his pace, Mm -hmm. because usually just cuts away to the victim. But we're getting back and forth of him just walking. I like that. And he's just breathing through the mask. Um, there's It has its moments. And the comedy, for me, they, they very much went hard on the comedy. I thought most of it worked better than most of these types of movies, though. Yeah, yeah. I was laughing a good amount with Big John, Little John. Big John and Little John was funny. That was funny. And that was definitely a treat. Everything else, though, it just... It couldn't. It couldn't hit with me. It just didn't. It missed with me. And the theater, the theater was laughing uh, like a moderate amount. Other than that, though, man, I was just pissed off the whole movie. I, I, I try to step away. I've seen so many horror movies. Like you said, like I've been. I've watched Saw when I was like seven years old. Like that was just how I was raised. So I love horror movies. I love watching them. I've been watching a horror movie a day for the whole month. I've seen movies where it's, characters can be stupid, and it's just it's it's more disappointing. More it's more disappointing than me just going in and being like these characters are gonna be stupid because of the expectations that were set after the 2018 one. Because I loved it, I absolutely loved it, and so to go from that to them saying let's write these characters to be stupid, um, emphasize the comedy, emphasize the the stupidity, and emphasize the kills, like it's just. They heightened it in all the wrong places, which is what made 2018 so good. So for me, it was just disappointing. I was just mad the whole movie. And then it cuts back at the ending to the cop who was younger again. And like he hides the bullet. I guess that'll play a role, maybe, in Halloween ends. Maybe he deals the final blow or something. I don't know. But that whole sequence of him being younger, I don't see the relevance in that scene. I don't see the relevance in the subplot of them chasing a guy who we know ain't Michael Myers, but they know, and it's like 20 minutes of us knowing this. They would have made it quick and then give Michael Myers some more screen time. Michael Myers doesn't even have a lot of screen time. It's I mostly it's, it's mostly the, the people, and I get it. They're trying to build on them, but how I can't, I can't work with these characters if you have them so stupid. I can't do it. So I didn't think they were that stupid compared to the first one. Like, I don't think most of the same characters were stupid, besides the granddaughter for getting back with discount Timothy Chalamet. I feel like they introduced a lot of new characters, and they have the right to be stupid. Because my thing is, a lot of humans out there are very stupid. Mm-hmm. So it, it's realistic in that way. Okay. Well? I think we should rate this movie. Okay. I, I'm going to change one thing on episode three. Okay. I don't like out of five. I okay. like out of ten. Oh, all right. You know? It gives us, yeah, some more breathing room. I yeah. personally love 10. Okay. It's just letterbox just has me so fixated yeah, yeah. to 5. We're, we're going to double letterbox. All right. I would give Halloween Kills a 6 out of 10. Now, a lot of people consider 6 out of 10 bad. 6 out of 10 in my world means good. 6 out of 10 is above average. It's a good time. Okay. Interesting. How is that interesting? It's, um, it's literally 5 is it's in, average. It's, it's in, in the middle. It's interesting because... Six is, yeah, yeah, six is average. Six is above average. Think, think, thinking out loud and be real, but I'm going to reevaluate because you, you do make a good point. I was going to give this a six. Really? See, yeah. Now, this is just like but the this rating is, system yeah, in general. Yeah, this is just rating system differences because I think sixes are like, that's no good. That's well, no I'm going to change your opinion because I'm right on this. Okay, go ahead. I do agree. Six is average. Six is above average. It's above average because it's above five. Yeah. Yeah. Six to me is good. Mm. Seven is really good. Eight is great. Nine is amazing. Ten Ten is, like, one of my favorites. Okay. You know? So, in a world where that's the the scale, I won't won't trademark many things on this podcast, Mm -hmm. but six is good. Okay. And I'm going six. I will divide that by two. Okay. So, on a real rating scale, you're giving it a three. I'm going to give it a six. Okay. And I respect that. Because to the three, most people, three is, like, the worst movie ever made. 
which is fundamentally flawed because a zero or a point five should be the worst movie ever made. You know what? No. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I won't do that. It has its moments, man. And maybe on a rewatch, I can maybe enjoy it more. I'll give it a rewatch and maybe give it a chance. I will give it... I'll give it a five. An okay rating. I'll give it a five just because I, lo- I love the franchise. Um, I'm excited to see what they, they, uh, they're they going to do next. It is funny. It did get some laughs out of me. The kills were dope. It was it was it was average. It was five. I just out of disappointment, I wanted to give it a three. But so stepping aside in, in and being unbiased, what would you give the 2018 one? The 2018 one is 2018 one. Despite it lacking the scares, but Michael Myers, you don't really get scared. You're kind of just like in that suspense. I give that maybe an eight and a half. Okay, almost so you, a nine. So you're, yeah, big fan. Yeah, huge. Okay. That's that's great. So in that sense, yeah, you yeah. sound great. I would give Halloween 2018 a seven out of 10. a seven. Really good. Okay. Really good. I'd probably give the original a 7 out of 10, too. Really okay. good movie. Okay. That's I just I feel think. like it, it breaks all those norms. Like I said, you have some good kills. Uh, the shots are, are more um, creative. Like, in this one, it's just, like, the same thing. But in the first one, you have, like, the one shot of him going to the apartments. I love when he goes past the baby, and you're like, is he? are they going to take it this far? Is he going to kill the baby? And just, it was very creative, very innovative. So that's why I give it so high. But, all right, give it a 7. And that is Halloween Kills. Let's talk about The Last Duel. Last Duel. This is Ridley Scott's first of two new <clears throat> movies this year. It's got The House of Gucci coming out in like a fucking month. Excited for that. I am too. Uh, it's got Adam Driver as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is his first movie. I forget his last movie. Was it All the Time in the World? The one where Kevin Spacey was in. And then they replaced him with Christopher Plummer. Oh. Um... You remember that? That scandal? Because <laughs> Kevin Spacey was a... Uh, being Kevin Spacey. He was doing some Kevin Spacey things. And they had to give him the boot. They, gave, they got Christopher Plummer in there. <laughs> because Christopher Plummer wasn't, uh, what wasn't was touching last, kids. What was his last... Damn. <laughs> what was his last movie? Kevin Spacey? No, no, no. Uh, Ridley Scott's. <laughs> I, I, that's what I'm saying. I think it was that one. Uh, okay. his, the Martian was the bigger one. Yeah, The Martian. You like The Martian? Yes, very much. Very much love space. I think it's okay. It's, it, it's, it's okay. Biasly, I love it. I could I could watch it right now. DJ's a big space guy. Love space. Love all, space. All the astrology shit. For wanting to be, you know, going to directing, writing, and filmmaking, I wanted to be an astronomer. Loves the Kennedy Space Center. Loved it. Damn near cried. Not for me. Yeah, it wasn't his vibe at all. He all wait no. After the Martian, he made Alien Covenant. Yes. DJ has not seen the Alien movies. Yes. Well, except I've seen, Prometheus. I've seen Prometheus, Alien Covenant, and no. I wait, you not... saw Alien Covenant. Mm-hmm. But you didn't see Alien. Yeah, no. Or aliens. Nope. I think we might have to end this fucking podcast right yeah, now. I blame my friend. Who? Which friend? Sorry to put you out there. Anthony. Anthony, I like you. Anthony said, yo, pl- like, just I don't blame you, it. Anthony. I blame... Blame me. I blame it, it, it is my fault. He could have sh- put up a fight. I should have I watched the first three. You don't have to watch three. Oh. The first two? First two. So I gotta watch. Regardless, I am an alien fan. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to act like I'm the most diehard Alien fan, but I love Alien. I love Aliens. I really fuck with Prometheus, actually. A lot of people don't like Prometheus. Okay. I really like it. Alien Covenant, abysmal. The horrible. Hated it. Just, and this is coming from someone who I don't. I, I was, that was one of the most anticipated movies of that year. I could not wait. And it was maybe how you felt about Halloween Kills, except Times 2. Hated Alien Covenant. Mm. So Ridley Scott, you know, we have like a weird relationship. Although there are a ton of... Ridley Scott movies I love, like the original Alien, like Gladiator, like Blade Runner. The man has some hits. Mm-hmm. He's, he's putting. He's not in like of this all, Of all yet. of them, Blade Runner have not seen as well. We'll change. Love that. Gladiator. Gladiator's great. Yeah. And then, like Gladiator, this is a medieval movie. Mm-hmm. Very different than Gladiator, though. Mm-hmm. In a way, it feels like it could be a serious parody. Of something like Gladiator, where it's a movie that kind of rips <clears throat> apart the sort of muscular man stereotypes. And mm. what's usually the theme of those types of soldier movies is broken down into like this rape revenge movie, mm. kind of. I really like this movie. I think it's really good. Gives me faith in Ridley Scott again, I would say. It's bombing at the box office. Really? 
it's doing really bad. Okay. I couldn't imagine how much this movie costs with <clears> all the sets and stuff, but it's made like I think it made like four point five million dollars this weekend. Not a great performance. Not something to look up to. But you have Matt Damon and Ben Affleck humming the script. Uh, I'm not sure if it's their first move together since Goodwill Hunting, but it is them coming back. They're both acting in the film. And what the fuck is the girl's name? I have to look up the actress's name. But in the in the overall feeling is I like this movie a lot. DJ, what do you think? Well, I look up the actress's name. I think it's <clears throat> Jodie Cromer. Um, I actually would like to say that I found it very interesting that um, uh, I don't know if you knew this. Matt Damon actually wrote his part from his perspective, and then oh yeah, they wrote their parts. And then did Ben Affleck write? Ben Affleck wrote Adam Driver's. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, um, I forgot who did hers. Um. It's no. probably, it says Nicole Holocafner? <laughs> Holocafner? Is, is the third writer. Okay. So I'm saying so she probably, probably yeah. the part. So that's cool. Um, yeah, I, I liked it. I just ha- I only had one thing. And it was, and I, I actually talked about this with Adam. This is my only gripe, really. Jodie Comer. Jodie Comer, okay. Jodie Comer. Is great in this movie. <clears throat> Jodie Comer is great. She is great. I would say she did the best of the main four. Ooh, I don't know about that. Best performance? Of the main four? Yeah. I'd go... Adam Driver was very stoic. Before you make your point, yeah. How would you rank the four? The four, in order of performance, I really liked... Favorite to least favorite. Um, ben Affleck, Matt Damon, Adam Driver, Jody Combe. Favorite to least favorite? Yeah. Ben Affleck? Mm-hmm. Then who? Matt Damon. Adam Driver. Jody Comer. I'm literally the exact opposite. You think Jody Comer? I go Jody Comer t- one. Okay. Adam Driver two. Okay. Matt Damon three. Okay. Ben Affleck four. Everyone loves Ben Affleck in this movie. Why did you put Ben Affleck one? Um, he had the most character. Did he? Yeah. Everyone, which I get, everyone was kind of very stoic until those charges and things came in. Um, you have the different perspectives. So Matt Damon, like, in one perspective, he's, like, that appeasing husband. Another one, he's just abusive. Adam Driver gives, like, you know, he's a playful type of... You have all these different things. But Ben Affleck, um, in, all, in all of them, actually, he's just... He's kind of the most likable. Like, even though you, you know he's kind of like a piece of shit, he gives this performance where it's... Honestly, it almost doesn't even feel like it's in those times. He's given a very Ben Affleck performance. Yeah. He feels like he's in Boston. Yeah. And he, like, he's cursing, which I was like, wait, in those times, did they even know what the word fuck was? I, I, so, um, but he was a very likable person. He, he I don't know. He, it's just his likability and his performance with how he interacted with Matt Damon and Adam Driver and them. I liked it. I liked yeah. it more than the other ones. In a movie about rape, it's oddly funny when he tells Adam Driver to take his pants off. It was hard not to laugh. Like, it was so weird because it was like, you know Adam Driver is a rapist. And yet, still the line when Ben Affleck says... Well, you says, don't know. When you know that Adam Driver <laughs> is the rapist, and Ben Affleck still, 20 minutes before the rape goes, just take your pants off. I was like, this isn't not funny. Yeah, everyone. Like, and and it was weird because you heard like seven people like kind of laugh like, and then they yeah, tried to shut up. That was up. another thing. Ben Affleck got like some chuckles out of me, like yeah. with with the way he um, his lines were wrote. So I, I I put him at the top. Interesting. I thought Jody was great, especially the part where she's on the interrogation. Yeah, I was like, damn, great performance. It, I in a world where there's so many great performances and there's five spots for the Academy, I'd give her probably. Grant, I haven't seen everything this year. But she makes sense as like the good fourth or fifth spot, I think. Deserves a nomination. The other three, not so much to me. Adam Driver, I thought was really good. Adam Driver's always really good, though. So mm. hard for me to. It's like it's a it's what you expect from an Adam Driver performance. Mm. Matt Damon, I've never totally been sold on as an actor. Every time I was like, hey, he's just playing Matt Damon, you know. This one, he played Matt Damon with a mullet. And got a little bit more angry. He looks like uh, that one kind of stand-up comic, uh, Theo Vaughn. He does look like Theo Vaughn in this <laughs> movie. You're right. You're right. And you know what? Theo Vaughn was pretty good in this movie. 
Then Ben Affleck was four. I didn't think Ben Affleck was bad. But the reason you like Ben Affleck is the reason I put him at four is because, like, Ben Affleck didn't feel like he was in this time at all. He just yeah, felt he, very, he like... Was ben Affleck. He's like, I'm back. I fucking hate Warner Brothers for messing up my Batman movie. And now I'm just going to be a fucking dick. Well, I think uh, his character, like, I don't know. Cause, like, when he's on screen, it kind of, like, just breaks the tension. Like, uh, and I, I kind of like that. Now, I do probably have to reevaluate that listing yeah, don't, because... Don't make... Don't well, do no, it because, don't feel forced. Well, no, no, no. Because I'm, I'm, conf- I'm confusing their performance with the likability of the character. Well, performance-wise, you do make a good note. Well, I true. Mean, if we're going likability, I'm not going to put the rapist over Ben Affleck. <laughs> You know, that is a different list, DJ. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, nah, but I'll, I'll just keep it as is so we can continue. But um, no, yeah, it, it was it was the movie was great. Um, the the sound, uh, not the sound, the score. The score was good. I actually liked the music. Um, the scenes and the action was good. The duel. The the duel. The duel was good. Was awesome. dope. I. I watched this at 10 in the morning so that way we could film this episode for today. Which I appreciate. Yeah. Because, man, I was tired. Um, but I tried my best. I, like, I was like, I'm going to stay awake because I don't want for my tiredness, let's say, to hinder my rating. Like, I don't want to come out like, oh, it was boring when actually I was tired. So I'm biasedly, like, I was actually trying to watch the film. And it was a good film. It's a good film. Um, it was long, which kind of hurt me because I was so mm. tired. But I stuck through it. And it... And, in moments when you think maybe it is getting slow, which there's not really much, m- many moments when it does, um, when it drags, um, it's always to inform you of someone's perspective and you're, you're learning something, so that way you can kind of uh, make and draw your own conclusions. The only thing that I had with it was because of those two hours and 30 to 40 minutes, um, which is justified to be that long because you have to get all of these different perspectives the perspectives when it's retelling it it retells it in the same way the previous one to it was um so for that it's not bad it's just like you have the first chapter and then it ends and it says chapter two and you're like damn that was one chapter and then chapter two it goes all the way back to the fucking beginning so for me i was like oh my god we're gonna have to see it they do its best to try to still make it innovative in a way where you can still be engaged so you're not seeing the same thing over if you are seeing the same thing, it's from their perspective, and it's something different. Like, I liked how in Matt Damon's telling, it was he was the one that saved Adam Driver. And in Adam Driver's perspective, it was Adam Driver who saved Matt Damon. So it was cool. But, you know, it was just like they're telling the whole same thing again. So I was like, oh, goodness. But other than that, which is not a bad thing, it's just a personal gripe. I was like, oh, it's, it's long. It does a really good job at keeping you in. Um, the music is great. The action is great. The conflict is great. The characters are great. The performances are great. It's a great movie. I would agree with your con. In the sense that, have you seen, you haven't seen Rashomon by Kurosawa? Mm mm. It's literally, they kind of ripped off that formula. So Rashomon is very similar where it's this scenario and it's told from like four perspectives. The thing that makes Rashomon better than this movie. I think is that the four now grand this is Rashomon was like the 50s or 40s even maybe 60s I, I forget when Rashomon was made mm. but regardless some might think it's too extreme where all the stories are pretty much drastically different from each other but the reason I think that's a benefit to the movie maybe not necessarily to the story maybe it being more subtle works better on a storytelling level but what makes Rashomon a better movie is that since each telling is so drastically different you're pretty much getting a new little movie each time. Okay, I like that. In this one, there are like the subtle differences. I think the best subtle difference is when she tells Matt Damon that she got raped. Because mm-hmm. in Matt Damon's, he's kind of like a concerned shit. And then in the third one, he's like slapping her like, you better be telling me the fucking truth. Like, yeah. I, that to me, I was like, I wish the different versions were more extreme most of the time. Because when there are differences, like who saved who, I do like that. The rape scene itself. It's very uncomfortable to watch both times, but clearly it's way more uncomfortable when it's from her perspective. Yeah. There's subtle differences, but like... Well, uncomfortable from her perspective. More uncomfortable, yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, for sure. If it wasn't, I'm a little concerned. <laughs> yeah, I was like... Maybe we should get a different co-host right here. I don't know. <laughs> but right before that, when they enter the house, it's pretty much exactly the same. You know, there, there's like zero... De- I could be wrong. 
maybe on a rewatch of those scenes, there's little things I didn't well, notice. Well, the context that differs that scene is that with Adam Driver's perspective, they were already kind of hitting it off. And her perspective... They weren't she, really, though. Like, it I was mean, still they very... Sl- they slept with each other. No, but in the second one, she's still very like, I don't want to hook up with you. Like, I thought it was going to be like, they had a more romantic thing going on. But from the beginning, she was very like, I don't want to fuck you. You know? From, yeah, from yeah, his yeah. perspective. Yeah, but it's almost like a playful, like, oh, no. I like, she's so. like teetering. They end up sleeping with each other. She even comes... She got raped, DJ. No, not, in the, not from her perspective. I know. I'm, and, still, I'm saying still from his perspective. It's not that different. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, like, no he's fault. still, like, chasing around the room in the same way. Yeah. He still opens and exits the door the same way. She still takes off her shoes in the same exact manner. Like, yeah. there's, no, there's no difference, really. So no. we're seeing it told again. And I get you have to kind of do that if you're going to do more extreme differences towards the end of said scene. But that is, like, a still three-minute chunks at a time where we're watching the same exact thing. Yeah. Yeah, no, you're right. I did like how in each chapter, with a different perspective, since they're on completely different sides of the continent, you're getting more, like, explanation. Like, I like when Matt Damon's promised this land, and he doesn't get the land. And Adam Driver's like, oh, yeah, like, Ben Affleck gave it to me. Mm. And then in Adam Driver's, he's, like, forcing the guy, like, I want this land, you know? Yeah. I, I liked seeing the different sides in that. But I just feel like when we see the same scenes over again, there are subtle differences that makes it be like, oh, yeah. But for the most part, you are You're re-watching pretty much it. watching 80% of the same scene. Yeah. And it kind of got old for that because uh, it does feel long. Not, not James Bond long. No. Not No Time to Die long. It doesn't no. feel that long. But there's definitely times where you're like, okay, this feels long. I will say my two favorite subtle um, alters is um so in adam driver's perspective when he's basically coming in to to rape her um she um oh what was it she takes off her shoe at the steps before going up the steps she takes it off in her perspective her shoes came off ah i didn't even realize that i caught that so there is a difference yeah yeah there's definitely some great subtle that's what i'm saying if i watch the second time i was paying more attention i'm sure there's and i i I value the while it be replaying the same thing i you know on surface like you could watch this and like i'm watching the same thing but i appreciate the subtlety of it it's just you know sometimes it's just i'm seeing the same thing over um the second subtle change that i liked was when they kissed adam driver and her yeah Matt damon's like kiss and in his perspective, she kissed him, but for a little bit too long. Yeah. And then from her perspective, was he like instant. was leaning into it. So I was like, okay, this is like it's those subtle things. Like they must have filmed it. Like, hey, you kiss her, and then okay, let's film the same thing, but you kiss him. I thought that was cool. But again, it's like my point and like your point. You're watching the same thing. Um, but other than that, it's great. It's it's great. It has a great finale. I will say, I was like, I was trying to stay awake i really that didn't know who was gonna win up yeah i didn't know and I, then the, I was convinced that we were gonna see adam driver win and it's it's while. it's crazy because um her punishment is ridiculous well that's kind of the point i was like are we gonna see this chick burn alive like yo that shit would have been crazy it's like but that shit happened back then even if matt damon like selfishly was like yo we need to duel this out and puts her life on the line like a selfish asshole you're kind of like, yo, you, this dude needs to fucking win. Because you don't want for... Regardless of whether she was or wasn't or how the story is flipped, we don't want for, we don't want her to go through that. Because that's the, like, the worst possible thing. What was it? It was She was going to get... She was going to be stripped naked, lashed in the cold, mm. and then and then strapped and then burned alive. And Pretty he was much. like, oh, some people burn alive for 20 to 30 minutes before dying. It's like, yo, this nigga needs to win. <laughs> like, yo, he needs to win right now. So... I mean, yeah, it, it it's good. It's a good film. It's a good watch. I, I think I think people should go watch it and support it. Despite the it being last bad in the box duel office, is the third time I'm saying this. Mm. Is so fucking awesome. I loved every second of it. I'm never into action in movies anymore. Where did this hype come from? Exactly, because no time to die. The action's boring. I'm gonna say the action's boring. <laughs> the last duel fight. There are stakes. You feel it. Most movies, you you figure. Even going into this movie, you figure Matt Damon's going to win. But the movie does such good of a job at portraying both sides where you're like, there, there's a good chance Adam Driver's going to win right now. And there are hits. Saw this with Olivia, my girlfriend. 
he gets axed in the back of the knee. She's like, oh! And I was like, yep, I feel that. When that knife goes through Abjar's mouth, I've never seen someone oh. turn away. Like, I saw my girlfriend turn away. She said, Ugh! And then, like, look, she couldn't look at it. When, when that scene happened, there was an old lady next to me. <laughs> and she looked at me. She went, oh, my goodness. <laughs> Why? Why? And because I was like. that's how a rapist has to go out. And then they're yeah. dragging his body. I was like, is that actually Adam Driver? Is that a puppet? Because he's getting dragged. That is not Kylo Ren. He's not coming back. Yeah, that was crazy. He was done. Yeah, man. It was good. It and was... I, I love the way it's like they make it not about her, even though it's all about her. It's very much like, nah, I just want to kill this motherfucker. Yeah. It's like we're forgetting it's very, the whole point. It's personal. It's vengeful. You got like some real estate in here. You got you got all these different types of things, which I didn't even know you could tell in medieval. Like they're fighting over land. You know, like, you, you, you have, like, their, um, whatchamacallit, you send your soldiers out. It's just a whole bunch of conflict, a lot of drama, a lot of a lot of good performing uh, performances. It's good, man. It's, it's solid. And that fight at the end is really good. It's really good. It shows everything full frame, and it's just super serious. I didn't think I would like horses up the, the fucking I was going to say, the horse hits the wall. Yeah. I was like, damn. What is I don't it know called? if I've ever seen a horse hit a wall like that. I forgot what it's called, um. I don't know what it's called, but that's that I always saw it in movies. It's like jousting. That's, jousting. That's what it's yeah, called. Yeah. I was like, I don't, I don't. Well, that's DJ's alarm, which means he has to clock back in from break soon. Which means yeah. we're gonna be wrapping up. You, you take the laptop. You do your thing, oh, and I'm he'll, gonna wrap he'll, up my thoughts on, on the last duel. Really good movie. Really close to being a great movie. I, I do think it feels long. I do think some of the retelling didn't always warrant that length of the retelling. I feel like there could have been a way to pace the retold scenes a little bit more. That being said, I think production-wise, everything looks really good. Uh, I really like the look of the film. All the acting is really solid. Uh, just a really good film from Ridley Scott. And that feels good for me to say because I think Ridley Scott's given us some of the best movies ever made, some of the most iconic uh, sci-fi ever made, one of the best medieval movies with Gladiator ever made. And even though this is now on the level of Gladiator, I do think it's really good. I do think it should be supported a little bit more. Uh, Five million dollars is nothing in this world of the box office. So I would say go give it a chance, even though we spoiled everything. Uh, hopefully you saw the film. I would give it a seven out of ten. Really good movie. DJ. Seven out of ten. I give it a, a eight, seven and a half. Seven and a half. And you know what? So I'll, I'll meet with you. No seven. Really good. Yeah, I get. I give it a seven. Yeah. It, it's uh, like I said. It's just you're you're watching the same thing. And but like everything hits, um, because of how long it is, and because I'm rewatching the same thing, I, I have to dock it. Um, but it's it's a gr- it's a great film. I, I love it. Don't don't let the seven fool you. Seven for this is it, it's good. It's a really good watch. You should definitely go watch it and support it. Oh yeah. So that was Halloween Kills and the Last Duel. Next week we got Dune. Dune, big movie, probably the biggest movie of the year. Excited to see what Denny's got up his sleeve. Uh, French Dispatch, Wes Anderson's new movie, yes. also comes out. Kinda, I think it's kind of limited. Friday, I don't know if we're gonna get it here in Orlando. We might, so it might either be Dune and French Dispatch next week, or just Dune. Not really sure yet. So, stay tuned for that. DJ, where can the people find you? Uh, Instagram, D'Angelo Rucker, all one word, of course. Uh, Facebook, D'Angelo Rucker with an apostrophe between the D and the A. And on YouTube, I post vlogs and comedic skits. It is D Shots. Thank you. There you go. And then my name is Chase. You can follow me on Instagram at Chase Cesarian. I'm rebranding all my shit. You know, I was watching kind of different things from the DC fan nerd thing that went on. Uh, DC fandom, DC yeah. DC fandom, yeah. Oh, my God. I, uh, that's a whole, we're going to do some news eventually. We're going to, let's, let's get into the flow of reviews first and then we'll cover broader subjects. That being said, I realized as I was watching things, I was like, DC doesn't know what the fuck they're doing. No. And that's kind of like me with my life. You know, I had all these YouTube channels. I had all these finance issues. I was fat. I was like, I have to figure out each of these things. So I got less fat. I could always get a little more less fat. I'm working on that. Don't worry. But then I was like, I have this YouTube channel, this podcast. I want to talk about movies, but I don't want to talk about movies. I like talking about movies with, like, DJ. I was like, let, let, let's turn that into the podcast. So this, this is figured out. This is here to stay. We're having a good time. We hope you're having a good time. Sure, do that. Uh, the YouTube channel, I'm, I'm working on it. I think. I'm thinking of things. And then there's going to be films of ours to come. So I'm excited where this is at. Don't know where I was going with that point. Oh, yeah. You can follow me at Chase's Aaron on Instagram. <laughs> 
I, I might post on Instagram. Twitter's Chill with Chase. And uh, I guess that's it. So until next week, we'll catch you. Peace. Peace out.